let's imagine you are a person looking for a job, and I'm the employer that you're looking to get hired by. So we, uh, you come in and you sit down, you fill out your application form, and I look at you, and I describe to you the kind of work we'd like to have you do. You'll come uh, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and you'll sit over there, and you'll do this kind of work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we get through all that, and you're, you're okay with that. And then we get to that big question, how much are you going to get paid? And let's say we, we, we dicker back and forth, and we agree on $20 an hour. So I'm going to pay you $20 an hour. At this point, Marx enters with a smile on his face and says, I'm now going to show you, the reader of his books, that when that deal is done, the $20 an hour, something is going on that you actually know, but you don't want to face, but I'm going to show it to you. When the employer, when I hire you for 20 bucks an hour, I know that for every hour that you give me your work, your brains, your muscles to work, I'm going to have more stuff to sell at the end of the day because you are added to my workforce. You're going to help me produce more goods or more services or better quality goods and services than I would have if I didn't employ you. So I'm going to say to myself, hmm, it costs me to get Abby $20 an hour. What do I get out of it? I want, I'm going to have the output that Abby adds by her labor. Now that has got to be more than 20 bucks. So the only way I'm going to hire you for $20 an hour is if you produce more in the hour than I give you. So when you feel in a vague way at the end of the day as you walk home that you're being ripped off, you're absolutely right. Or in Marx's language, exploited. So what does the capitalist say? I earned it. No, you didn't. He just ripped people off. The way most corporations work is four times a year, they take the profits they've made in the preceding three months, and they distribute a portion of them to their shareholders. These distributions are called dividends. So if you own a lot of shares, say because you inherited them from your grandma, or you stole money and bought them on the stock market. There are lots of ways of getting them. But if you have them, four times a year, you go to your mailbox in the morning and you get an envelope and you tear it open and inside is a check for your share of the profits that have been distributed to shareholders. For rich people, this is millions of dollars. They have all that money. What did they do exactly to earn that money? Nothing. Those people are going to tell me they earned? Earned what? Did they ever set foot in the factory? No. Do they have any idea what this company does? No. They don't care. They are simply sitting there collecting. Well, let's now do a little logic. If there are people like shareholders who get a lot of goods and services they didn't help produce, then there must be elsewhere in that system people who produce what they do not get. So that means, if we allow that, that we are saying, some people, your job is to produce a lot more than you get so that these people can get a lot more than they produce. For Marx, he stands up and says, I rest my case. This system sucks.